Good morning, my Sagittarius soulmates. Welcome to the Soulful Creator channel. Uh, I was meditating on your energy, Sag, and today what I want to do is I want to pull in a message of the collective energy of my Sagittarius soulmates, and the message that I was getting for you is go big or go home. What does that mean? Hmm. We're going to have to dive into that and see what we can find out. So this is a weekly ma message for my Sag. Today I'm gonna, going to be doing a heaven and earth reading. I'm gonna be reading the earthly plane and what you're doing in your life, what you're creating, what you're manifesting in your life. We're gonna be taking a look at the spiritual journey and where you're at with your soul. And then we're gonna be looking at the pathway in between about how to manifest your soul's heart's desires and you know what, what you're trying to create in your life, what kind of experiences your soul wants to have in this lifetime, and see if we can get some help from our soulmates from the other side. I'm here to guide you um, on the soulful journey. The soulful journey is about becoming so full of love and light that you can't help but pass it on. So let your soul come out and play and create. That's kind of what this channel's all about. All right, Sag, let's see what our holy angel spirits and guides, please give us guidance of for our Sagittarian soulmates. What's going on in the earthly realm with Sagittarius? Our Sagittarius soulmates, what's their energy and emotions like? What are they manifesting in the earthly plane, the physical plane? What's their thoughts and beliefs? What's their patterns of behavior? How are they acting? What are they attracting? Tell us about Sag and how they're doing on their soulful journey. Tower moment. Wow. What's going on with you guys, Sag? Whoop. Man, the cards are flying. Got a choice to make. Might be confused. Not willing to see what's going on, Sag. We're going to take a look a little closer. And we've got the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, so some potentially maybe a power struggle going on what's going on with our sagittarius soul message what is the collective soul of sagittarius have to say what is the heart's desire what would the sagittarius soulmates like to experience what is their gift what is the sagittarius's purpose can you give us clarity please holy angel spirits and guides and soulmates from the other side going on what's going on with our spiritual journey for our Sagittarius soulmates tell us about the soulful journey how are they doing there is a card for you guys Whoop! two more definitely wanting to come out come out and play Sag it's time to come out and play go big or go home all right what is the energy of getting from heaven to earth? How do we manifest our soul's desires? What do we need to know from our holy angel spirits and guides? What's advice from our holy angel spirits and guides? Thank you very much. And another one as well. Love it when they come out. Hmm. Being blocked, not being able to take that leap of faith. That's interesting codependency come on Sag you guys is you guys know your self-worth seriously you don't need somebody else to begin this journey are you really thinking you can't do it on your own is that really what's going on healing that doesn't surprise me we're all healing we're all doing our soul work when we're here well, while we're here what else do we need to know is there anything else we need to know about my thank you all right very good okay Saj let's take a look at what how you're doing with your life and what you're creating in your life looks like you've been through some massive heartbreak ouch uh all I can say is I'm sorry it is part of the human journey we do have to become broken open so that we can become humble it sucks it's hard to, to get past that energy of rejection but yeah we do have to realize our own self-worth right so you're getting over some heartbreak. There's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of challenge. There's been uh, some mistrust, you know, a lot of disagreements, arguments, not, you know, conflicting energy. It looks like, you know, you're wanting to heal from this, but you haven't really begun the healing journey. The star in reverse is actually not listening to your soul. 
so your soul would like you to find a place of stillness so that the soul can guide you through this the soul really wants you to understand the gift and the gift of the human experience and how lucky you are to be alive right now there in one of my meditations when i was walking the labyrinth down in saint george uh, utah i was uh I heard very strongly my a spirit, spiritual message came through saying there are millions of souls on the other side that are waiting to have their turn. So, you know, to not begin the soulful journey, the soul really wants to come through you into the human realm, into the human existence and have an experience of truth and know the soul's purpose and know how beautiful the soul is. He wants to see itself in the physical plane. But if we don't listen to our soul, then we don't make this star moment happen. It means we don't bring in our soul's purpose. We don't get to see that truth if we don't allow the journey to happen. So absolutely, there's going to be a tower moment. Absolutely, it's time to release. There's going to be a sudden change something that you need to see something's going to crumble something's going to fall down some sort of belief system something is happening where you're going to be forced to make a decision you're going to be forced to you're at a crossroads moment right now this is you know you wanting to be protective maybe refusing to make a decision not wanting to see the truth you know resisting the journey but there is a choice here and you have two paths to choose you may have two soulmates to choose from we'll see about that king of swords in the reverse means that there may be a power struggle or have been a power struggle that you've been going through and that you're going through a shift in that this can mean sometimes making a judgment too quickly a judgment about yourself a judgment about others about being so critical and trying to be just but like abusing power and I don't know if someone's made a judgment against you or you've made a judgment against someone else let's take a look at what your soul is wanting to say to you so your emotions have been a little bit unstable been in a little bit of victim mentality soul is wanting you to take accountability for what you've created in your life and to move on and uh, leave it behind you know you're feeling like something's missing it's time for you to move on to greener pastures it's time for you to have a life that's got more abundance fulfillment more meaning it's time for you to go on this journey to take a travel to move away from what hasn't been comfort you know leave the past behind move away from rough waters move to calmer waters allow yourself to have some healing and recovery and move forward and get out of this energy your soul is actually wanting you to reconnect with your inner child it's time for you to remember your inner child the soul is the energy of the inner child and um, before we're conditioned by the human experience the human journey you know before age eight ask yourself what were the things that excited you about life what are those sweet moments of life that you remember that you have good memories about it's time for you to reunite you know what things made you excited what made you excited to get out of bed in the morning when when you first woke up and you were five years old when you wanted to play what did you want to go do what things were what things made you feel alive it's time for you to get back and get connected with that child part of yourself the soul wants you to understand that six of pentacles that you're in a place where you can you know you have enough abundance that you can freely give to others and feel the joy of giving that gift of giving back in, and that actually through the giving is when we stay in balance and are able to continue to receive from the universe you know if we always just want to receive 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 from the universe then what happens is the ve our vessel can only hold so much love and abundance before we'll be required to give back to creation and give our gift in order for us to you know empty some of that energy out so that we have a, we're a vessel that can be filled up again so you know take a look at your giving i don't know if there has been an unequal giving and taking but you are definitely powerful you're resourceful and you know take a look at what your gift is maybe now you have the seven of sword in reverse so this is kind of the self-sabotage card where there's something deceitful going on you know potentially a sticky situation trying to get away with something running away from a situation not wanting to deal with something hiding in some way maybe someone has a hidden agenda or you have a hidden agenda I don't know if this is you or someone in your life but the advice for you from spirit is you know know when you're being lied to right 
when it comes to betrayal and sabotage, you know, whether it's you or someone that's trying to get away with something, or maybe you're you're hiding from someone, not wanting to face something. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. We we could potentially ask more about that card. Let's see what we can get. Holy Angels, Spirits, and Guides, what is this self-sabotage dishonor about? Okay, it's an illusion. It's about a fear. It could potentially be, yeah, it's saying something about an illusion. The snake, deception, betrayal. It just confirms that there's some sort of a sticky situation, big problem going on. Okay, but it's turning in your favor, whatever this betrayal is that's happening. Let's see, I'm gonna just try one of my Heaven and Earth deck cards and let's see what comes out. We've got two. We have the Death card, which is Transformation, and the Perfect Work card, which is the Four of Wands. So. It looks to me like whatever's happening in this stick, sticky situation, the person that has a hidden agenda that's trying to get away with deceit, that's trying to run it, run away. I mean, it's, I think that this is about you. You know, know when you're being lied to and don't allow deceit. Don't allow, don't play with other soulmates that are deceitful. It just isn't not going to be something good in your favor when we have you know like attracts like right if you've if you've got people in your environment that are trying to get away with something that are only in it for themselves that may have a hidden agenda or maybe envying you or you know it's saying watch your back right and and the death card is saying that this is about you learning this lesson to watch your back and love yourself enough to get you know get these snakes out of your life right get this deception out of your life if you're hanging around people that are deceptive then there's a chance that you're being deceptive because how you act is what you attract people like to hang out with people like themselves so if you've got snakes in your environment it's time to get rid of them it's time to transform that in with the death card right into something that's healthy something that's based on enlightenment and truth something that will manifest uh, goodness and fortune and be more of a stable situation four of wands is about creating a stable home there's potentially somebody spying on you with the page of storage showing up spirit wants you to know that you may be in a situation where you're spying on someone when you're trying to solve a situation when you're being curious about some something or someone's taking a look at you and doing their research on you. Spirit wants you to know with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse that you just keep going, put more and more effort into this. It's worth it. And you don't need to be codependent on others. You know, the worth is with is you have the self-worth. Don't look outside to attach to others. That, you know, definitely that was a big part of my journey was breaking codependency. And, you know, we never get to be you know, in the queen status, or as I say, the nine of pentacles, which is where that abundance is fulfilling us. You know, if we're, if we're going to rely on others, then we're going to be, then the happiness only comes if others bring it and we can't control that. So if you want to be self-sufficient, then don't be codependent. So if codependency is part of your, of your journey, you might want to take a look at that. This is saying that you're kind of resisting this journey, that you're resisting being, feeling a little bit blocked, not feeling like you're free to move. You may have been in a situation that <clears throat> has been king of king of cups in reverse. So king of cups, king sorry, knight of cups is all about unconditional love and bringing love to the situation. But I think there's a message that you need to see that there's you know been some scheming, especially with this guy. There's been some somebody that's very cunning, scheming, trying to get something out of it, you know, and I would say it has to do with money because it's sitting next to my reciprocity card, you know, and this night in the reverse, you know, this scheming, he wants you to move towards taking a leap and taking a new journey away from the situation that you've been in, which has had a lot of betrayal and people that are, or potentially self-sabotaging, you know, cutting out that self-sabotage behavior 
are you getting in your own way, I guess is one of the things I would ask. Have you been accepting a relationship that is unrequited love? Has it been okay for you to stay in a relationship that is not giving back to you, right? Has it been helpful for your soul to be in a codependent relationship? Is that really helping you see your own worth? Do you see what I'm saying, Sagittarius? So let's take some time, rest, heal, get clear about what is helping you, what's harming you, what's healthy for you, what's not healthy for you, because you need to cut out what's not healthy for you. And in order to get to this Ten of Pentacles stability card where you're so abundant that you, you know, leave a legacy, have a legacy to leave behind. So the Ten of Pentacles is all about completion. So I think that, you know, until you learn this lesson about deceit and betrayal and that it's our responsibility as souls to cut that out of our lives. It's our responsibility to not want to hang around, hang around with people like that. And it's our responsibility to break codependency in order to see our own worth. Let's see if there's any other messages for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what you need to surrender to. What does Sagittarius need to surrender? Holy angels, spirits, and guides. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So there's some advice for you. Let's see if we can pull... Let's pull another one, a card from the seven energies from Colette Baron reed We have some advice from my Sagittarius soulmates. Close encounters. Let's take a look at that. It's the energy of a 10, which is all about completion. This is karmic, whatsoever, whatever is going on for you guys. Okay. We aren't meant to be alone, yet sometimes we are wounded and we build walls around ourselves and we don't get so we don't get hurt again. It's time to be honest about your step out honest about yours and step out from behind the barrier and engage in all of life. This is a beautiful opportunity to allow your vulnerability to be your strength as you choose to live in integrity and without artifice artifice. Even in your work life, this mode of connection allows you to be truly present. When you live this way, everything and everyone thrives. You have no need to defend yourself when you're being truly and utterly you. Empowered by your raw openness and willingness to be seen in this way, close encounters will not fail you. There is so much to celebrate when you stand eye to eye, shoulder to shoulder, sharing your heart. So what a beautiful message from Spirit. I love the picture of this butterfly this butterfly that is actually transformed because of the death card right so close encounters this is about those tower moments that are happening around you the betrayal that you're transforming all of these situations so that we can turn this star card upright so that your soul can actually heal so that your soul can have the healing that it's been yearning for so that your soul can know its purpose right and have the joy and the happiness that you deserve. So that is the message that I have for you, Sagittarius. Surrender to divine timing, okay? So let things unfold um, in the right time. Don't try to force things to happen before their time. I hope that this was helpful for you, that you were able to get something out of this reading. And if so, I would really appreciate your help by having you like, share, or subscribe to the channel. We're tr I'm trying to get out there. It's been a 10-year journey for me, a long and painful journey if you want to know the truth. And I'm just at wanting to give my gift because I'm standing in my star card wanting to share and help people on their soulful journey. And that's about becoming the energy of love and becoming so full of love that you can't help but pass it on. So let your soul free, let your soul play, and create a better day. I'll see you guys on the next one.